Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. This game is available on sale currently in the Steam store. And I haven't even started playing yet. And it seems like a really good buy. I mean the music's really cool. Even the, just the title screen looks neat. So let's go right into it. I mean this isn't the newest game ever. But the graphics are pretty nice for how old it is. I mean, the story is kind of cool. Let's just get into it and see how it goes. Normal. Yeah, that's good. No. That doesn't make sense. Key. Keys. Lots of keys. Watches and keys. Watches. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rabbit! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. Psychiatrist, man. It always ends up weird. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Can I forget your child. face? Your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Messed up psychiatrist. For messed up kids. Oh, it's swooshy. Oh, uh, hold, hold on, I need to unswooshy. Alright, that's better. Okay. Back to the game. Boys' room. Ollie pinched me smalls. Wear bloomers. The loo smells awful. 
Worse well, than your room? It's a blue, so I mean... It's fancy British for toilet, so I would imagine it stinks. Ugh. Oh, there you go. Look away. Our bed's a mess. Monday's wash day. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. Find the door? What door? Girl's room. No, oh, you're all sh Okay. What for? First person. I love the gray. Why are you naked? And why is your leg not on? That's creepy. This game is creepy. Oh, wrong button. Doctor, do you like still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. He's dead, Jim. Oh, clown! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! I don't care if it's a jack in the box. I don't like clowns. No, go away. Spooky. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? Look at here. Look at all the trunks and stuff. Oh, I have to walk away. Okay. Da, 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 da. The Illustrated News feeds an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at Match Factory. Six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite bad. This is an English game, so maybe I should speak more Englandy English. Probably just sound like a tart. Ten years in the loony bin. Why does everybody talk like I'm not here? It's kind of rude. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. <laughs> Photo of the family. About as dreary as I expected. That's it. Yeah. At least the Hatter looks kinda happy. Everyone else is spooky and creepy. Alrighty. I love the outfit. It, it reminds me of Lydia from the Beetlejuice cartoons. Except there's no red. There will be red later. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Mad as a hatter without the charm. I can still hear you, you little douche nozzles. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Look at these kids. I mean, just just look at this kid. Look at him. Deep brow, beak of a frowny mouth, a number, scrawny, oversized shirt, barely any hair. He's creepy. Oh, this thing's killing me, back. I call work noble, bastards. Nah. Can't come this way, love. Uh, go round. You don't say. Nice side fit, you could build a flat on it. Sideways. Especially sideways. Uh. You like Paganini, Missy? How about Paganini? I like Paganini. It's the only nice guy I've seen so far. I'm right here, you stupid little gits. Stop talking like I'm not here. The Sandman's coming in his train of cars, with moonbeam windows and the fields of stars. So hush.
watch you little ones and have no fear. The man in the moon, he is the engineer. I liked it better when they talk behind my back. Kitty. Adults. Ugh. You probably won't let me pass, will you? Fang off, Missy. Move along. Okay. I'm your friend. You drunk, snot nosed. Something or other. People, merchant, butcher, you. Oh, look, a kitty. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Yes. White rabbit, white cat. Eh, close enough. Yeah. I'll teach him. Be him good. Charming. Follow the white cat down certain doom. Everybody's so happy and not disgusting. Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Wife exploded. Fog. Fog is bad. Don't like fog. Bad things happen in fog. Bad things happen in fog. Bad thing in fog. Bad thing in fog. What the? F what the hell are those things? The stars and garters. Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Witless. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Like some of pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, Oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can't remember her name? What I heard. Everyone in this game is horrible. All of them. I'm sure Alice is probably horrible, too. I'm going to cut it there. Yeah. That's enough trauma for one episode. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in part two. Bye.